This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Holtes, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the MI24P Hind and we're going to look at a cold start. First, ensure we are in the pilot's position. Next, circuit breaker panels. To get access to these, we're going to remove the seat and the stick by clicking there. We can turn them back on anytime we like. Head round to the left, left circuit breaker panel, left click and hold this lever here, release, and that puts all of the circuit breakers up. Next, we've got the same on the right. This is actually for weapons, so this is only relevant in terms of weapons, but let's do it anyway. Next, electrics, DC power panel here, right battery on, left battery on, link the battery, battery network on, voltmeter right click once twice take a reading next under this cover our left switch for the inverter on next close the door and seal it so click there to close the door and our friend will close his door at the same time which is very nice of him now we need to seal it so get mouth in that position there left click and hold and this can be awkward as you can see there we go and i'm going to move it fully anti-clockwise wait for the doors sealed light to illuminate next rotor brake which is this guy here off next fire extinguisher panel which is this panel here this switch up and the far switch up next fuel switches i'm not going to go into the detail let's just turn on the ones we need this guy here this guy here open this guy here open this guy here this guy here this we do not need unless we have external tanks. On, 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 on. That's the fueling done. Next, APU. APU panel here. Ensure this switch is down in start and it is. Press and hold start for three seconds. Press and one and two and three. Auto on illuminator. Wait for the EGT to rise. We have normal oil pressure. We have... APU normal RPM and this light has gone out next to the engine start panel here we can start either left or right engine first it doesn't really matter which we start first let's start left press start we've got the engine stop lever here this is the left one we're going to move it forward next to the instrument panel for our essentials EGT here hundreds of degrees Celsius RPM of the engine here and we've got number one starting and we've got our rotor RPM as well let's watch that rise I'm going to skip time forward just so we don't have to wait. And we're up to full power on that engine. The rotor's still rising, but that's okay. Repeat the process for the right engine. Start. Stop lever forward. Watch the credentials. Fast forward because we can. Up to temperature, up to speed. The main rotor's still increasing. With the engine started, we want dust protection on. Dust protection cover up there and leave the cover up otherwise the switch will go back down next we want to increase throttle so we're going to put our seat and our stick back like that this is our throttle here it's like a twist grip we're going to press and hold right click and move the mouse moving this guy fully clockwise and we're going to leave it in the fully clockwise position you can see our credentials increasing there and there we're good. Once main rotor is up to 95% plus or minus 2%, which it is, as you can see there, we can go back and do more electrics. So, generators left, on, right, on, inverter, off, close the cover, if we can, there we go, transformer, on, whoops, right click, on, transformer, on, rectifier, left, on, right, on battery network link off cover close as engines and electrics are sorted apu can come off so apu panel apu stop next we're going to simplify a few steps by turning lots of things on at once so radio navigation everything in this panel let's just turn it on now it's technically not the correct order but it's just easier to remember and it still works fine as well as that, blinker on and IFF on. Next, we've got two red switches blinking here that we want to get rid of by caging gyros on the left and on the right. Next, we get rid of our C because it's just too hard to see some of the panels. Next, 
SPUU power, which is this guy here, right click to on. Next, autopilot, your roll pitch and altitude, turn them on, and it can be a little bit awkward. You may have to uh, find the exact position where to find, press the button. They all wanna be green like that. Uh, there we go. Next, the core system needs synchronizing. It's important that this has been powered up for at least three minutes at this point, so please ensure that is true. It's this guy down here. We wanna ensure that gyro here is too magnetic, which it is already, and then, and this is really hard to get to, right control, right shift two, to go down like that, because you don't wanna press that knob by accident. So let's just take our time to get that right there. There, the sync switch. We want to hold that for, and I quote, some seconds. So let's hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Right control, right shift, and five to reset our head position. Next, arc 15, nav set to compass. Ping. Next, navigation suite, the arc U2. This switch down the bottom here to on. Switch all the way around here to air conditioning. Uh, it's this guy here wants to go to condition. Okay, just about done. We're gonna turn weapons panel here. We're gonna turn our sight on, which you can see there. We will prepare to taxi now. So the pedal damper here, open and off, and then you will press wheel parking brake to release the wheel parking brake, which is modal. And finally, the super important stuff. We've got fan there. Be careful not to put your finger on it. It will get caught. Next, external lights as desired. So we've got tail strobe, blade tips, formation, taxi, landing, nav lights. Also, we've got interior lights, which you may need. Left, alt, and lima gives us a flashlight. Also, more rheostats, backlighting. We've got three panel red backlighting here, which you can turn on if you want. Right click, I'm doing this. Another two panels, backlighting down here, so two more rheostats. And finally, back here, uh, that's the cargo hold. This is the pilot section. White floodlight off red floodlight. And onto our final note. If you run the battery down, which is if you are inexperienced, you are likely to do, you can use external power supplied from a friendly base if you do that. We can use the communications menu, click ground crew, click ground electric power, click on. If you're going to do that, ensure that on your DC panel you have your exterior power switch turned on and on your AC panel your exterior power switch turned on, otherwise it will not work. You can now taxi and take off. I hope that was useful and see you later.